I would skip it. I'll just go. Yeah, I will power washing my hair that day. I'll not go. I'm not a social person. That's why I'm playing games in a VR to be. Do not need to be in public with people and talking and all that. Yeah. Okay, everyone. So yeah, about that game, I recorded it once, but the, like you know, camera was really low. I don't know why. If it's because of my headset being like too low, so I'm gonna be posting both of those like you no know, playthroughs. So if you wanna skip to the one that's gonna be uh, looking better for you guys, then go to this minute I'm showing right now on the screen. And yeah, yeah enjoy! Well, Hello and welcome in... Not for broadcast. Are you saying that uh, <laughs> subtitles... Let's turn on subtitles just for you guys to see. I don't remember which colorblind that I have. So you're gonna go with no colorblind? Yeah! Name. Can I change my name? Enter game name. I want to change my name. Hello, friends, and have no, I want a different name. Can I change my name? I guess not. I can't do. And story mode. Let's go. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. So fucking loud! Oh my ears! Oh fuck! Calm down! <laughs> okay, okay, oh my. Hello? No. Cannot get to the fun even. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Uh -huh. They go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Yeah. Well, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. Uh -huh. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. There uh -huh. you adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, this look guy. up to the front again. Alan and this one. Right, won't be long now till the signal starts coming through from the station. Stay on your toes. All the big wigs are in tonight because of the election, so we better not make any mistakes. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you want me to do now? When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer, and we're ready to go. Oh, Corner oh, mayonnaise. Yeah. You don't see if you make me go out and posture. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You want to be pulled every day. Ten seconds, everybody. It's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Going in five, four. But now, it's time to join. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. 
Our main story is tonight. Okay, we're all good. Nick's is going to be the threat of the news titles on screen too. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Yes. Yeah. Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chap. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Ham's leaves win sports personality mm -hmm. and a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new yes. movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic right. Right. But That's two, coming up on tonight. It's early there, mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. Okay. <laughs> it's complicated. Swing down. Come on. Come on. Comes, switch to screen one. Lovely night. Yeah. The landslide victory with an astonishing 81% of the popular Look at vote that. is the Thank biggest you. election win in living memory. Advance appeal to voters up and down the country with their bold promises of permanent change. Oh. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being hmm. deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to Advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. However, Former Home Secretary right, Jeffrey it's going Jeffrey well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now the clock at the top yeah. is counting you down to the advert. Uh, when it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first bottom break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your uh, right on the clock. To hear the co-leader's acceptance speech. And three, two... One advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill after the ads. What? Why? Wanker snatch is running yeah. oh, I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use. <laughs> I thought that was our little secret. It's yeah. all right. He doesn't remember anything I tell him. I'm deeply uncomfortable oh, with your virgin friendship. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Wicked. We've made it to the first ad break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. Uh -huh. This next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence because you're oh, going to be no. cutting between multiple cameras to keep oh, things no, interesting. No, no. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever please is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same no, shot for too long. Ten but seconds at the most. So if you're on the person that. who's talking, oh, no. try and throw in the odd reaction say. shot or pull out to the wide shot <laughs> for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience wants to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as good no. as it sounds. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make sure you know those. Might as well get screen one. I mean, you're turning, my guy. Try and stay ahead, mate. A burger. We're coming back from the break. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. Oh no, he's gonna be certain, I think. Getting in five. Yeah, four, him. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from the shock election winners mm -hmm. in advance. But first Get off, ready to go to Megan on screen four. Megan Wolf is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, yeah. culture correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare. Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she it's says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do yeah. hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a moment. Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say, having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now, just stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to Peter at The Rat, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Jack, now back to really Thunder is. Twat. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly <laughs> successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. And do you know what, Megan? 
I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite Yeah, 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 and doing well, Absolutely I think. right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story. Been on that show a bit long. For a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. Mm -hmm. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, honestly, who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing well. <laughs> for the awards, although those three little statues do take pride of place. Look at me. I'm doing uh, the broker thing. I'm <laughs> sure. So. If you're not doing it for the awards, no, that what is it then that drives you? Oh, Come on, my boy. Let's go with that shit here. Yeah. Easy to answer. <laughs> like you, I'm afraid. Cut me. Look at that. And I will I'm the best. Often. That's how it's Doesn't it? Believe it. Suffering. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference it makes. I do it for the people that I inspire. The little people. But most of all, I think I do Yeah, look at that. That was perfect. Perfect, my play. My play is perfect. And yeah. Today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well. <laughs> Well, no, <laughs> really cool. historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, <laughs> that one should always strive <laughs> to not fuck things up. Jeez. Oh, oh, well, don't worry, you won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Yeah, he did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the brain. Yeah. Which opens next week. Right, they've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Five, four, three, stuff. two. Let's take a look. Oh my god. Looks like a blunder clutch is really losing it in the studio. I'd love to hear what he's saying, but we can't find out now. We'll go to the Russia's room together once the broadcast's over. Can I check that? I'm gonna see what he's saying. It's not your fault. You think I don't know that? That's not important. Oh ho ho! Kissy kiss. To you, Miss Flanagan. <gasps> oh my god. I did it for you, baby. All for you. Dr. Hemlock. I can be like DJ. The world, you remember? Dr. Hemlock. You told me. Dr. Hemlock. Yes! Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. No, it's all too late. Look at this! Oh, Working. The virus. So are we just watching this show now? Sterility. Okay. This folder. This folder. This, hmm. this is the key. We could stop it all. I'm yes, gonna play some ads. Yes, we could stop it all. Yes. We could stop it all. James. Two, one, and. Right, I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. As you probably noticed, uh -huh. the broadcast screen here is about two seconds behind the master screen here. When someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up like this. Two uh -huh. seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the sensor button for as long uh -huh. as the Okay. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm and you'll get it. No, I'm not going to get it. Just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. 
Uh-huh. Can't we swear a little bit here? Is it the national TV or what? Uh. Okay. What? As you turn it up, you'll hear the advert getting louder. Good. You're set to start censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it. Soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold. hold it down. Okay. Seriously, we've had worse. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Oh, shit. Shall I start? Go for it, Pat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, thank you all for coming. And, well, where do I start? What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. <laughs> they used every dirty, low-down, lying, yeah. southern bastard trick they had against us. But you, the people, you saw right through their shite. I'm sorry about the language then. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebrations. Pints makes yeah. me coarser than the grin is funny. Memorably put. Nice. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Yeah. Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that Advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They oh, shouldn't no. be celebrating. They should be putting their shitty pants on and opening their dusty checkbooks. Again, sorry. Put, but not I know. <laughs> Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our executive power <laughs> to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know the sort of probably you you rather you don't. Uh. Because the likes of you and me you Are you gonna be swearing soon? In gated communities. Tomorrow we will be introducing a sweeping oh, he didn't swear for like this country. A ten seconds. No hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative Let's accounting. Let's go with that one. That's nice it's white simple. angle yeah. shot. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Look at that. So and now all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today, yeah, yeah, yeah. we revoked your passports. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened... Don't be stupid! That's fine! But first, you're gonna pay up. You're gonna pay back. Advance are going to turn mm. this country from a nation of warring individuals... Yeah, 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 I know. Shut up! ...to properly fund health... And Why are you not here just working instead of me? Standards of huh? All. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions but you'll oh, see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret shite. So to you posh twats. The people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their private clubs. Yeah. The people whose children oh. you raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say to you. It ends today. Yeah, yeah. We are coming for Don't your sports cars and your mansions and your... It's not important to get the whole world. Today. I need to split the, the majority of the world, you know, that's okay. Like, in the hands fuck. of the people who created it. it it's okay. Ends. Today. Yes, it ends Shut today. Up, you idiot. And tomorrow we'll start making it fair again, just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I suggest we all get pissed. <laughs> I can't argue with that. <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> well, an interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of Advance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And our apologies <laughs> for the footy. I'm line. good. Hopefully we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. Fuck off.
So it's going to be in trouble. You're going to be in trouble. We'll be in a fight. With full coverage of the first day under advance. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. Right, looks like you've got it now. Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. No boring politics, then. Bye. This is some weird fever dream. Am I dying now or something? You should be so lucky. I'll see you tomorrow night. I hope so, because you're stupid. You want to fight me? Try not to get murdered. Uh. When the program's finished, you'll get a broadcast report. It's three pages. This first page shows you how well the broadcast went. Each sequence and an overall grade. Why are you talking my ear? Uh. mean bonuses and they keep the boss happy. Mommy! <laughs> it went, select more info. If not, select continue to move to the Somebody's next talking to my ear, mommy. Help me. I don't, I don't, I don't help me. I want to go to bed. Mommy? Fuck! Why on the ground? <laughs> Let's go! Phone call. Hi David, I have a call for you. I'm just Hi! Okay. Alright mate, Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so... Uh, run the news tonight. Now don't worry, it's not hard and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top, mm -hmm. that coloured bar is your audience. Yeah. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Mm -hmm. Underneath that you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing yeah. at home. It's okay, only a couple okay. behind the master screen. Four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And exactly you can my choose boy. between them using the numbered buttons what on cake the sale? mixer at the bottom left. Stop drinking Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up oh, in no time. 8 p.m. Now, have a look okay. to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face okay. the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. Oh, Those are ads. Okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Okay. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of video tapes. Yeah, I, I did that already, mate. Yeah, I have that, Alan James, Bumbley. Crazy Neil, and come to Bumbley. Right, the tapes are yeah, ready. We're all ready for when we get to the first ad break. That's great. Any second now, you should be getting a signal through from the studio. Stay on your toes, mate. It's election night, so all eyes are on this room. We do not want to get fired. Okay. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Oh, poor oh. Mm. You don't see if he makes me go out in the posture. Yeah, I thought it might increase yeah. our viewing thing. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Oh, going in five, four. Oh, and you're on. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main stories tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next thing is going to be to throw the news titles on screen too. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Haki daki, no problemo. That's easy enough. Corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as one of the smaller Johnny Hams leaves wins sports personality of the year, and a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star yeah. Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their six, five, five, four, three, two, two, one. Lovely mate. Yeah! Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. Okay. Do 
Yeah, come on. Here comes. Switch to screen one. Lovely, mate. Yeah. The votes are in, and it's a decisive win for advance. The landslide victory, with an astonishing 81% of the popular vote, is the biggest election win in living memory. Yeah. Advance have pulled the voters up and down the country with their bold promises of permanent change. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat and advance his overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. How is that outside However, looking? Former Home Secretary right, it's going Jeffrey well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early. 25, 23, 22, 20. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. One of those three, yeah. First break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'm going to play the C one. Two, one. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill up. I want to see the advert. Warm sandy beaches, clear waters, and fine dining. Ding, 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 ding. But here in St. Bumley on the Taint, we've got a big hill, and the bus comes twice daily. Visit oh. picturesque St. Bumley this summer and experience a holiday that's simply unbelievable. We made it to the first half break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This the next bit is a multi cam sequence because you're going to be cutting between multiple. Don't cameras worry about it. I've already done that with you. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long. 10 seconds at the most. Yeah. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep yeah. it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually yeah. enough. Then the audience want to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. Yeah. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Oh yeah, that's asshole. I don't like you. I want to slap you. Might as well get screamed. Please so be nice to her. Oh, we coming back from the break. Fucking stupid. Clean it, clean it, clean it this. Come on, yeah. Ten seconds, everybody. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first, get ready to go to Megan on screen four. Is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture <laughs> correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare right, to the Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she it's says his name. Today by none yeah, other yeah. than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe You're me. fucking fake, asshole. You here today is a Switch to Fuck you. The wide now. <laughs> May I say, having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to Peter at the rap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. Yeah. Shut up, I know what I'm doing now. It's all terribly successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. And do you know what, Megan? I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. Yes. Yeah. Scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, <laughs> yes, you're right. It was a complete <laughs> departure from <laughs> Fucking my Fucking hilarious, you're fucking role stupid. When I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man, you'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. I think it's gross now a billion dollars, but uh, obviously who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards. You're good at your job. Correctly. And you're a <laughs> fucking <laughs> asshole, I would punch really you. I'm not in it for <laughs> the awards, although those three little statues can take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, well, <laughs> sure. So, Stupid. if you're not doing it for the awards, mm. What is it then that drives you? Oh, oh, that's a beautiful question, Megan, sense. and not easy to answer. Like you, 
I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will bleed. Oh, I will bleed. Often, that's how it feels. And I'll punch you. Doesn't it? Bleeding. Giving. Suffering for one's audience. Uh-huh, don't shoot yourself, we asshole. I suppose ask in the end, I do it for the difference it makes. I do it for the people that I inspire. The little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can. You're doing for a fucking paychecks. That's all you were school. Today, of course, <laughs> we're in for Fuck some real change. You. It looks like in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, oh well. election. <laughs> Well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always maybe we should sit and play. Not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. Oh, oh, well, don't worry, he won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Yeah, Shit, he did it again. Okay, 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 don't sorry. panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. I know how to do it already. Right, they swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fuck you, blotter pop and blah blah blah. I don't understand it. I would like to show him where he'd just be an asshole. But nah. You think I don't know that? No one else mustn't. Dr. Lance to you, Ms. Flanagan. <clears throat> you slop, slap like a wee bitch. I don't Dr. like Hemlock. you. We're gonna change the world, do you remember? But when I listened to you. Dr. Hemlock. You told me, but I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. No, it's all too late. Look at this. Stop it. Stupid. The virus. The sterility. This formula. This formula. This, this is the key. We could stop it all. Yes, yes, we could stop it all. <sighs> we have to ask ourselves. At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count you in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. I want to shoot that. I know you tell me important Please things, but I'm watching the ads. Now, Ellen James. Mate, if you don't turn up the broadcast volume, you won't be able to time your bleeps. Good. You're set to start censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it and soon we'll have you. Watch seven hours now. Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold it down. Nationwide tour, Alan James is right. I'm really bad at that. Seriously, we've had worse. Five, four, four three, three, two, one. Let's go. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters where the two leaders 
Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury are about to make their acceptance address. He's going to be drunk. Come to the outside broadcast. Go oh, oh, for it, Pat. Get ready okay. to play. Oh, well, uh, thank you all for coming. And, well, where do I start? What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. <laughs> they use every dirty, low-down, lying, southern uh. bastard trick they had against us. But you... The people no, you totally you saw that. right through what? their shit. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. It makes me coarser than a grown is funny. Memorably put. Nice. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team yeah. that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shitting pants on and opening their dusty checkbook. Again, colourfully put, but not inaccurate. Yeah. Before we came out here to address the nation... Yeah, drink. Nice we drink. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know this, or probably you, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. Mm -hmm. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounts. Get that we drink. Come on, are we sip? Fairer unavoidable set of tax laws so all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide and earlier today we revoked your passports you want them back you want to leave like you threatened before the election that's fine but first you're gonna pay up you're gonna pay back Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. There. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions. But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret shite. So to you posh twats. The people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their private clubs. I miss a little bit. The people whose children you raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say to you. It ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. Yeah. It ends today. Yes. Don't swear at this audience. Oh. And tomorrow Those words we'll start me. making it fair again. Just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> well, an interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of advance. And our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully, we got that bleeped out for you in time. Nobody would if say not, that. Someone's going to be in trouble. Nobody says that in the news, you so, idiot. As the country braces itself for a new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. Bye bye. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. Right, looks like you've got it now. Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. No boring politics, then. Is this some weird fever dream? Am I dying now or something? <laughs> be so lucky. I'll see you tomorrow night. Not coming for a drink? No, nope, got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. <laughs> And not a cleaner once more. And during my year, I forgot about that already. <laughs> what the? What? 
broke us poor? You arrived home to find Pulse on the mat, most being nothing more than just usual junk mail. Don't let her hover catch your eye. The team wants to know you. Curiosity gets better of you and you open it. It's a form from the new adve advanced government asking for information on all citizens. The first page is filled with already. Your name, Alex Winston, is support is your spouse. Sam Winston, your children Charles and Susie Winston. Well, you must at least. Uh, upon starting a new job, you would uh, be friendly, introduce yourself to your new co workers, be productive, and get to work immediately. Easy, easy to enjoy yourself with your new workplace. I miss you, friends, about the old job. Uh, I will be probably friendly to most of the people. Because they're trying to be friendly to new people and everything like that. A colleague is in a different different department has confirmed it. No, he would help you colleague cover uh, for uh, uh, But what kind of colleague is that? It's like, you know, my friend as well, or no? Uh, I would just recommend for him to report it. Our, an entire, yeah, that's for sure will be happening. Something like that, yeah, the whole department would be sacked for <laughs> the performance. You must have put in the place a new target. That's I think it's higher than the previous one. You would stay late and leave work early then head the pub. <laughs> no, just leave work on time. I would not care if they would say like, oh yeah, you need to do more. I would not do more. Fuck it. <clears throat> it's the annual company barbecue and you and your family have been invited to you. Are looking for what to enjoy no go if you're free but uh, I would skip it I'll just go yeah I will start washing my hair that day I'll not go I'm not a social person that's why I'm playing games in a VR to be do not need to be in public with people and talking and all that yeah You had a long successful career and you're now about to retire. In your speech you list your achievements and all the good memories you had at work. And, uh, give an honest review of the pros and cons of the company. Focus on each and changing your face. Uh, refuse to attend. Oh yeah, in your spare time you like to relax alone, doing things, listening to music or making more. Uh, no, encouraging and supporting your children. I'll probably go with that. Your ideal holiday getaway will be surrounded by natural beauty. Getting away from this. Oh, that's a really good one. Uh, Nah, no, not theme park, the first I want to get to it. No, I would say... I don't know if nature, exploring somewhere unfamil unfamiliar and discover new... Because uh, those two are really... I'm just gonna go with the na nature, yeah. It's most important that the government keeps people... Those are stupid. I would say equal, just to say something. Yeah, that's a great idea. Family matter? What? <sighs> it's late. Some of the kids have gone to bed. You just drank up a favorite coffee cup, a worn out souvenir of your first trip together. The prince faded, but the goofy face still makes you smile. A knock at the window brings you back to reality. 
There is the gardener clashing again. What? As soon as you let them in, they sit at the kitchen table with his stressed. Who's the fuck is Chris? Chris takes a deep breath. I'm so sorry, babe. <laughs> I'm so sorry for bashing. I'm so late, Alex. But I need a favor, and you're the only one I can ask. No problem, what's going on, Baba? You must have seen all the crazy stuff for... <laughs> you must see the... <laughs> You must see all the crazy advanced stuff. The assets and wealth act they are coming in. <sighs> Taking people's hard earned money to fund the lazy. I said that's bullshit. I never seen Chris this agitated. I'm not saying that the top one of whatever don't have stupid money. Chris, uh, Chris out to do a hustle, hustling. <clears throat> but then can't, um, <laughs> but they can't afford it. People like me, we're going to lose everything. I'm sorry, but taking from the rich to help the poor doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> Chris's eyes flash, <laughs> flash dangerously. You can't possibly be that naive. They're taking whatever they want and distributing it as they just say fit. No government should have that kind of power. Look, that's not why I'm here. I need to borrow your passport. My passport? What for, Chris? They've taken mine and have the bloody country, but People always say, you and I look similar, so... My cat is scared of that voice. Yeah, I'm not scared, he's just annoyed of it. Sorry, Maurice. <sighs> Chris is busy now. I need to leave before it's too late. As I know, me and my money will be safe. But I need to go now before they fr freeze my account, you know. Please, Alex. I, I wouldn't ask if I had any other options. Surely there's another way. It can't be that serious, Chris. Chris smile falls open. You're joking, right? I always done right by you and Sam. I've treated you children like they were my own. We're family. Doesn't that mean nothing to you? All right, I'll get the passport. Family is family. You climb the stairs to your bedroom carefully, not to wake Sam, who is corn. Cooned. Cocooned. Ah! Who's cocooned in the duvet as usual? You open the wardrobe, unlock the safe, and retrieve the passport. A sleepy voice breaks in the silence. Alex! <laughs> no, this is gonna be the same voice. Alex, what's going on? Nothing, sweetie. Don't worry about it. Go back to sleep. Sam seems unsure. Are you sure? What are you doing in the safe? I'm sure. Nothing. Don't worry about it. I'll be up to bed shortly. You close the safe and head back downstairs to find Chris at the table fidgeting. They jump up as soon as you re-enter the kitchen. So have you got it? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Here. Good luck with everything. Good luck with everything. For the first time, Chris smiles. It's infectious. I'm sorry, guys, but English is my second language, and I'm pretty bad at in reading as well because I'm dyslectic. So. All that combined is just really bad. I feel stupid. Thanks, I really appreciate it. I'll get back in touch once I'm safe out of the country. Chris takes the passport and, breathing a sign of relief, grabs the night on fluorescent, uh, 
as, as, grabs the suitcase <laughs> and heads out into the night. You head to bed, hoping you can prize some of the duvets away from Sam without waking them. Day eight. I can't stop. Oh, what the fuck is that? Fuck. Beastly interview a day. I made that completely clear when we started. Check my contract. I would be slap you. I'm Megan. Oh, piss off. You're on thin, bloody ice, Rob. Cool wheat, man. Cool wheat.